Hi, I'm Dr. George Parada, medical advisor for the National Pest Management Association. Today I'd like to talk about health risks associated with common household pests and the steps you can take to keep your family healthy and safe. When pests like cockroaches, rodents, mosquitoes, ticks, and stinging insects invade our homes and properties, they can pose serious health concerns to our families. Cockroaches, for example, can spread 33 kinds of bacteria, including E. coli and salmonella, six parasitic worms, and more than seven other types of human pathogens. They have also been implicated as a trigger for allergies and asthma, especially in children. Rodents, on the other hand, can contaminate food and spread salmonella. Mosquitoes are the vector for West Nile virus, which has infected more than 30,000 Americans since 1999. Ticks spread Lyme disease, a dangerous bacterial infection that can affect the joints, the heart, and the central nervous system. And stinging insects send more than 500,000 people to the emergency room every year. Luckily, there are many things homeowners can do to protect themselves and their families from pests. The best way to prevent pests from accessing your home and property is to work with a trained pest professional to implement a method of pest control called Integrated Pest Management, or IPM for short. IPM is a common sense approach to pest management that employs sound solutions for treating and controlling pests. These solutions incorporate three basic steps, inspection, identification, and treatment. A trained professional will be able to inspect your home for signs of pests, as well as areas of your home that are vulnerable to future infestation. If pests are present, a professional will be able to identify the species and any kind of threat they pose to your family and to your home. Finally, a pest professional will be able to recommend a variety of effective treatment options, including sealing cracks to keep the pests out, removing food and water sources to deter infestations, and applying products when necessary. Pest professionals are trained to use only the minimal amount of product required to control a pest problem, and will apply them according to label instructions and regulations. The principles of IPM have been practiced successfully throughout the world for more than half a century. As a continuously evolving practice, IPM will continue to incorporate new knowledge and technologies in the field of pest management and disease control. However, the foundation of IPM remains the same. If you control the pest's access to food, water, and shelter, you control the pest. And by controlling the pests, we can reduce our exposure to health risks associated with their presence. Thanks for watching this episode of Health Checks about integrated pest management. That's all the time we have for today. For more information on the health risks posed by pests, visit pestworld.org and whatisipm.org.